We have several rules in finding the derivative of a function in calculus. We're going to learn the two rules that we are going to use in finding the derivative of a given function, and they are the power rule and the constant rule. Now, the power rule is basically given a function x to the n. If we're going to find the derivative of x raised to n in terms of x, it is simply equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. So if we're going to use this formula or rule in finding the derivative of a function, let's say 3x raised to the fifth power. The derivative of 3x to the fifth in terms of x is simply 5, which is your exponent, times 3x raised to 5 minus 1. Therefore, in finding the derivative of 3x to the 5, it's equal to 15x raised to 4 using the power rule. So notice that we don't need to use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of a given function. So this particular rule only applies for polynomials similar to example number one. Now for example number two, we have another polynomial which is 2x and if we're going to find the derivative of 2x in terms of x, we will have the exponent of 1 times 2 x raised to the 1 minus 1. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, the derivative of 2x in terms of x is simply equal to 2. And this is by using the power rule in finding the derivative of the function. Now, the second rule that we're going to use in finding the derivative of the function is the constant rule. In the constant rule, given a constant c, if we're going to find the derivative of any constant, it's always equal to 0. So if we have an example, let's say 235 raised to negative 12, and we're going to find the derivative of this particular term, it's only equal to 0 because 235 raised to negative 12 is a constant. So for example number 2, if I have to find the derivative of e raised to pi in terms of x, it's also equal to 0 because e is a constant and pi is also a constant. And for example number 3, if I have to find the derivative of 7, the derivative of 7 is equal to 0 because 7 is also a constant. Now for the next few examples that we're going to solve, we're going to combine the power and the constant rule in finding the derivative of a certain function. So for example number one, we have 3x plus 2 raised to the second power. So if we're going to find the derivative of this particular function, what we need to do is we simplify our function by expanding our binomial. And we know that if we ex expand 3x plus 2 raised to the second power, it is simply 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2, which gives us 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. And in finding the derivative of this simplest form, or a converted form of our function, we now have the derivative of 9x squared plus 12x plus 4 in terms of x. So what we need to do is to find the derivative of each term of our polynomial to find the derivative of our function. So the derivative of 9x squared is equal to 18x, the derivative of 12x in terms of x is 12, and the derivative of 4, which is a constant, is equal to 0. Therefore, the derivative of our function is equal to 18x plus 12. Now, for our second example, we have to find the derivative of third root of x squared in terms of x. So the first thing that we need to do, since we have a radical function, we're going to convert our radical function into exponential function. So from the third root of x squared, this can now be changed into x raised to two thirds. And in finding the derivative of this particular function, just like using the power rule, all we need to do is to bring down our exponent, which is 2 over 3, times x raised to 2 thirds minus 1. Now 2 over 3 minus 1 is 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3, which is equal to negative 1 third. So therefore, the derivative of our function x raised to 2 thirds is 2 thirds times x raised to negative 1 third. Now to get rid of the negative exponent in our function, we can simply convert it into 
a fraction similar to 2 all over 3 times x raised to the positive 1 over 3, which we can convert into a radical function. So our simplest form for our derivative for the third root of x squared is 2 all over 3 times the third root of the square root of x. And that is how we use the power rule and the constant rule in finding the derivative of examples 1 and 2. Now for example number 3, we're going to find the derivative of a all over v raised to 10 plus e in terms of v. So what we need to do here is to convert our fraction into a negative exponent so we can easily find the derivative of this particular term. So now we have the derivative of a v raised to the negative 10 in terms of v and the derivative of e in terms of v. Now the derivative of the first term, we are going to bring down negative 10, so we have negative 10 times a times v raised to the negative 10 minus 1, plus the derivative of our constant e, which is equal to 0. So the derivative of this particular function that we have here is basically negative 10 a v to the negative 11, or we can change our negative exponent into fraction, so we can have negative 10 a all over v raised to 11. And that is how we convert our function number 3. Now for example number 4, this is an application of the derivative rule in finding the equation of a tangent line. Now in this particular question, the function that we are using is 2x squared, which is a quadratic equation, and we need to find the equation of the tangent line at x equal to 1 of this particular function. Now if we graph 2x squared, which is a parabola, finding the tangent line at x equal to 1, given by this line right here, can be found using the derivative. So what we need to do is to first find the derivative of our function so we can find the equation of our slope. So given the function 2x squared, the derivative of 2x squared is 4x, so therefore the slope of our line right here given a point at f of x is 4x. Now the second step is to find the two points or this particular point right here given our value of x equal to 1. So if x is equal to 1, then f of 1 which is equal to 2 times 1 raised to the second power is equal to 2. So this particular point right here is basically 1 and 2. So now that we have our point and we also have our line right here which is our tangent line for our function 2x squared at x equal to 1, we just need to find the equation of this particular line using the point slope form. So Using the point slope form, we just need to find the actual value of our slope using our derivative. So if m is equal to 4x, which is the derivative of our function, plug in the value of x, which is 1, we have a slope of equal to 4. So therefore, the equation of this tangent line using our point slope form is y minus 2 equal to 4 quantity x minus 1. And that is how we use our derivative rule in finding the derivative and, of course, applying the derivative and finding the equation of the tangent line of a given function.